In this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to um, set up the settings for when you actually want to share your Google form. So the first thing you want to do is look up in the top right corner next to the send button. There is a little gear for the settings. When you click on that, you're going to see some different options here. So who can respond? The default is anyone in Washington County Public Schools. So that's going to require them to use their Google, Google account to actually log in before they can submit a response. Um, you can change that to anyone and it will be open to anyone that has the link or can find this on the web. <clears throat> so I'm going to leave it as anyone Washington County Public Schools. You also have the ability to automatically collect their username. So you can uh, keep track of who submitted the response. And if you want to um, set it so that each user can only submit one response, you can check this as well. So you'll notice when I did when I checked that box, this one down here went unavailable because this says submit another response. So I have the choice to either let them only do one, limit them, or if I want them to be able to submit more than one response, they can do that. I also can allow them to edit the response. And if I wanted to, I could let the user see a summary of the responses. Right now, I'm going to just leave that blank. And you can also set a message for them to receive after they've completed their, um, completed their form. So I could say, thank you for taking the time to answer some questions. And then I would just click Save and it's going to save those settings. Then I have the option to send it. So when I click Send, again I've got that same option of changing who can actually access the, the Google form. And then I have ways of sending it out. If I wanted to send it to a few people, I might just enter in their email addresses here. If I want to send it to a lot of people at one time, um, I can just copy the link and put that into an email and send it out to a mass email or put it onto a website. I can also embed this form into a website using HTML if I wanted to do that. So those are the three different ways you can send out a Google form. Um, you can also send them on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter right here. But these are the easiest ways, most common ones that I've used before.